Good morning, everybody, and welcome to St John's, Clevedon. Um, welcome to all those people joining us from home and from those joining us across the diocese and beyond. This morning, we're live streaming through Facebook and our service will be posted on YouTube. Everything you need to know is in your newsletter this morning. Just a couple of reminders for you. There is reference in the newsletter about the electoral roll and our electoral roll officer will run through that process with you next week. Just to thank you to all those people that um, prepared posies for distribution for Mother in Sunday. Um, they're here and, we will, and they'll be passed to you as you leave um, the service today, doing things slightly different this year, but they have been prepared in a COVID safe environment with gloves being worn. I wanted to especially thank Judith for organising the daffodils for us, and also um, a couple of us distributed those to people that are shielding at home, and they were much appreciated, and they send on their love and thanks to everybody at St John's and pass on their best wishes. This morning, our intercessions will be led by the children of St. John's Primary School. And I just wanted to remind you that some of you, um, it is slightly different that we aren't carrying cash throughout um, this pandemic, but we will have a plate here to donate if you want to when you leave the building. If you also wanted to donate via standing order, our treasurer is at the back of the church, she'll wave to you. And if you could let Fiona know if you wanted to um, contribute on a regular basis to the church via a standing order, Fiona will be outside um, as you leave the building. Also, just to let you know, um, because of the way that we are lighting our votives, could you give us a show of hands, please, to those people that would like a votive lit this morning by our server, Martin? Okay, thank you very much. Blessed by him in his own you are burned.
of your body and blood that we may know within ourselves and the fruits of our redemption. For you live and reign with the Father and the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Grace, mercy, and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ be with you. Well, good morning, everybody. It's very good to see you. A welcome if you're participating via the internet. Welcome indeed to those who will share in our worship across the diocese uh, later today. At uh, the risk of preempting the sermon, you know that today is the fourth Sunday of Lent, Mothering Sunday, and there are three things in particular that we give thanks for today. First of all, for our mothers who gave us life, with a little bit of help from our fathers, of course. For Holy Mother Church, which gives us life through baptism through the Eucharist, through the sacraments, and for our Blessed Lady, Mary. And in the Gospel we hear how our Lord told St John the Evangelist, our patron, to make a place for Mary in his home. And that invitation is extended to every one of us to make a place for the Mother of God in our homes. To prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries, let us call to mind and confess our sins. Wash me thoroughly from my wickedness and cleanse me from my sin. 
Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Make me a clean heart, O God, and renew a right spirit within me. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Cast me not away from your presence, and take not your Holy Spirit from me. Lord, have mercy. Almighty God, who forgives all who truly repent, have mercy upon you, pardon and deliver you from all your sins, confirm and strengthen you in all goodness, and keep you in life eternal through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Let us pray. God of compassion, whose Son Jesus Christ, the child of Mary, shared the life of a home in Nazareth, and on the cross drew the whole human family to himself. Strengthen us in our daily living, that in joy and in sorrow we may know the power of your presence to bind together and to heal. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who is alive, and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Amen. Let's sit and listen to the Scriptures. A reading from the book of Exodus. A man from the house of Levi went and married a Levite woman. The woman conceived and bore a son. And when she saw he, saw he was a fine baby, she hid him for three months. When she could hide him no longer, she got a papyrus basket for him and plastered it with bitumen and pitch. She put the child in it and placed it among the reeds on the bank of the river. His sister stood at a distance to see what would happen. The daughter of the Pharaoh came down to bathe at the river. While her attendants walked beside the river, she saw the basket among the reeds and sent her maid to bring it. When she opened it, she saw the child. He was crying and she took pity on him this must be one of the Hebrews' children, she said. Then his sister said to the Pharaoh's daughter, Shall I go and get a nurse from the Hebrew women to nurse the child for you? Pharaoh's daughter said to her, Yes. So the girl went to the child and called the child's mother. Pharaoh's daughter said to her, Take this child and nurse it for me, and I will give you your wages. So the woman took the child and nursed it. When the child grew up, she brought him to Pharaoh's daughter, and she took him as her son. She named him Moses because, she said, I drew him out of the water. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. create for me, O oh God. 
Put a steadfast spirit within me. Do not cast me away from your presence, nor deprive me of your Holy Spirit. A pure heart, a pure heart, create for me. Transgressors your ways and sinners may return to you. A pure heart, a pure heart, create for me, O God, a pure heart, a pure heart, create. The second lesson is taken from the letter of St. Paul to the Colossians, chapter 3, from verse 12. As God's chosen ones, holy and beloved, clothe yourselves with compassion, kindness, humility, meekness, and patience. Bear with one another, and if anyone has a complaint against another, forgive each other. Just as the Lord has forgiven you, so you must forgive. Above all, clothe yourself with love, which binds everything together in perfect harmony. And let the peace of Christ rule in your hearts, to which indeed you are called in the one body, and be thankful. Let the word of Christ dwell in you richly, Teach and admonish one another in all wisdom, and with gratitude in your hearts, sing psalms, hymns, and spiritual songs to God. And whatever you do, in word or deed, do everything in the name of the Lord Jesus, giving thanks to God the Father through him. This is the word of the Lord. Praise to you, O Christ, King of eternal glory. Praise to you, O Christ, King of eternal glory. The Lord be with you. also with you. Hear the Holy Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ, according to John. Glory to you. Standing near the cross of Jesus were his mother Mary and his mother's sister, Mary the wife of Clopas and Mary Magdalene. When Jesus saw his mother and the disciple whom he loved standing beside her, he said to his mother, woman, here is your son. Then he said to the disciple, here is your mother. And from that hour, 
the disciple took her into his own home. This is the Gospel of Christ. Praise, Praise to you. Now I speak in the name of God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Now, children, that's Celia and me, know better than to send their mother a Mother's Day card. They search high and low until they find a card which actually says Mothering Sunday. Mother's Day is a very charming and secular American celebration which falls on the second Sunday in May. So mums can have a second bite of the cherry later in the year. Mothering Sunday is quite different. It is a church festival which celebrates so much more. And it's a festival that has been special in our calendar for hundreds of years and it's a multifaceted feast. As Father Brendan reminded us at the beginning of this Mass, it's a day to remember our own mothers, of course, but also to remember the mother love of God. Do you remember how Jesus looked at Jerusalem and using a very feminine image said he wanted to gather its children as a hen gathers her chickens under her wings? The motherhood of God. And then we give thanks and remember the care given to us by our Holy Mother, the Church. And of course, the example of Mary, mother of Jesus. This is a day that is about mothering. The mothering freely given by mothers, but also by all those many people who take on mothering roles. It's also about the mothering love of God and our own vocation to share that love as widely as we can. So perhaps you can see why in our house we are insistent that it is Mothering Sunday and not just Mother's Day. But I think we're probably fighting a losing battle and the church festival is in danger of being overwhelmed by this secular celebration. For weeks now, shops have been full of Mother's Day cards and flowers and boxes of chocolates, the normal gifts of this time. But even if people buy them, delivering to their mums who might be in a vulnerable category in this time of pandemic might not be the best thing to do. But somehow children, especially those who live away from home, will find ways of delivering signs of love for those whom they love. For in acknowledging a mother's love and in giving love in return, we are following the example of Jesus himself. It is no coincidence that this day falls midway through Lent, just as the cross casts its long shadow over all that we do. In this morning's Gospel, we heard of Mary standing at the foot of the cross, unwilling to leave her son in his greatest hour of need. It's an image we know so well, we know it from, from art. And we know it from our passion tide readings and our hymns. Mary had John and some of the other women standing with her, but most of their friends had deserted them. She is not entirely alone, and yet she is alone, for she's isolated distanced in her grief. But then it's a mother's place to be by her child. And so many women occupy that place today in so many countries where the present pandemic is killing hundreds of thousands of people. And also in war-torn and desperate situations such as Yemen or Syria or Myanmar and so many other countries. They stay till the last possible moment, attentive to the needs of their children. 
So Mary is the archetypal mothering figure, the faithful, vigilant, constant presence. She stands there representing so many loving mothers. The response of Jesus to her, however, reminds us what's at the heart of what it is that we're celebrating today. The flowers and the chocolates and the cards are, are just pointers to something that is so much more important. And that something is the loving relationship. In their desperation at the foot of the cross, Mary and John, the beloved disciple, are entrusted to each other at a very deep level. Jesus names them as family, as mother and son. No longer isolated in grief, they're united in a deep and lasting relationship. Woman, here is your son. Here is your mother. Even in his great pain on the cross, Jesus showed his great love for his mother as he placed each in the care of the other, Mary and John. And today we commit ourselves anew to imitate Christ. And in our second lesson, St Paul tells us how we might best just do that. Clothe yourselves with compassion, kindness, humility, meekness and patience, he wrote. And then he added, above all, clothe yourselves with love, which binds everything together in perfect harmony. Just as Jesus consoled his mother and his friend, God consoles us with grace and love. And we are called to console each other, to mother, as it were, to be an agent of the overwhelming love of God in our relationships with our mums, with all in the church, with all those who do not yet know the love of God, and with our friends and with our neighbours. That is why this is Mothering Sunday, not Mother's Day because it's that deeper quality of what it means to care for and to console each other, to stand at the cross, to be in the painful place for the other. That's at the heart of what we remember today. So in this Eucharist, God feeds us, holds us and gathers us, as does a mother, as do those who mother. At such a time as this, that is what we, each of us, is called to do. Those of you with us in church will receive the sacrament. But those who cannot be here with us today and who are joining us online are not denied the grace of the sacrament, the food of eternal life, the bread of life, the cup of eternal salvation. The God who mothers you is in relationship with you. God will not let you go hungry. God will not let you go thirsty. God's deepest desire is for you. And as a mother, shows each of us how we too can mother each other today. And so in the days and weeks and months that lie ahead, that is what we have to do. So happy Mothering Sunday. Let us stand and proclaim the faith we share. We believe in one God, the Father, the Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all that is seen and unseen, we believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only Son of God, eternally begotten of the Father, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, of one being with the Father, through him all things were made, for us and for our salvation. 
He came down from heaven, was incarnate from the Holy Spirit and the Virgin Mary, and was made man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried. On the third day he rose again in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. We believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is worshipped and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. We believe in one holy, Catholic and apostolic church. We acknowledge one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. We look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Please be seated for prayers from our parish school. Today we want to say thank you for all the people who take good care of us every day and on this Mothering Sunday, especially our mothers. We thank you for their patience and concern for us, for their skills and influence on our lives. Thank you so much for their love. Lord, we realise it is not always easy to be a mum, and so we ask that you bless us, bless them in, every, in everything they do. Amen. Lord, thank you so much for your love that is strong and unshakable. Help us to share your love with those around us every day in acts of small kindness. Help us to forgive, forgive each other when we mess up because we are not perfect. Please come and be a part of everything that we do each day. Amen. Lord, thank you that this time of year is a time to celebrate new, new life, fresh starts and hope. We see this promise of change and hope reflected in this nature that's all around us. Lord, help us to see the signs of a new beginning with you. Thank you for the hope you have given us as we trust you. Amen. So in our prayers we think of mothers who stand alongside their suffering children across the world and we pray for them. We pray for our parish community, especially for those who are sick, among them Margaret, Julie, Jill, Tony, Anne, Marjorie, David, Jane, Julia, Hannah, Terence, Dorothy and Heather. We give thanks for our mothers, living and departed. And we pray also for the repose of the souls of Father Ian Young and Elmer Fisher. And in years mind, we remember Anne Angelique Rudman and Vera Barbara Brimble, rest eternal, grant unto them, O Lord, and let light perpetual shine upon them. So in the silence of our hearts, let us offer to God our own personal intentions for this Eucharist. Merciful Father, Accept these prayers for the sake of your Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Amen. Please stand. Since we are justified by faith, we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ who has given us access to his grace. The peace of the Lord be always with you. So, my friends, let's acknowledge the presence of one another in appropriate ways. Peace, peace, peace.
And please now be seated. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness we have this bread to offer which earth has given that human hands have made. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. By the mystery of this water and this wine, may we come to share in the divinity of Christ, who humbled himself and shares in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness we have this wine to offer, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, my friends, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at our hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. God of our journey, as we walk with you on your path of obedience, sustain us on our way and lead us to your glory, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Please stand. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is indeed right and good to give you thanks and praise, Almighty God and everlasting Father, through Jesus Christ your Son. For in these forty days you lead us into the desert of repentance, that through a pilgrimage of prayer and discipline we may grow in grace and learn to be your people once again. As we prepare to celebrate the Easter feast with joyful hearts and minds, we bless you for your mercy and join with saints and angels forever praising you and saying, Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of power and might, 
Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Lord, you are holy indeed, the source of all holiness. Grant that by the power of your Holy Spirit and according to your holy will, these gifts of bread and wine may be to us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ, who in the same night that he was betrayed took bread and gave you thanks. He broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take, eat, this is my body which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. In the same way, after supper, he took the cup and gave you thanks. He gave it to them, saying, Drink this, all of you, this is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this as often as you drink it in remembrance of of me. Great is the mystery of faith. Christ has died. Christ is risen. Christ will come again. And so Father, calling to mind his death on the cross, his perfect sacrifice made once for the sins of the whole world, rejoicing in his mighty resurrection and glorious ascension, and looking for his coming in glory. We celebrate this memorial of our redemption. As we offer you this, our sacrifice, with praise and thanksgiving, we bring before you this bread and this cup, and we thank you for counting us worthy to stand in your presence and serve you, Send the Holy Spirit on your people and gather into one in your kingdom all who share this one bread and one cup, so that we in the company of Mary, the Virgin Mother of God, of John the Evangelist, our patron, the apostles, the martyrs, and all the saints, may praise and glorify you forever through Jesus Christ our Lord, by whom and with whom and in whom, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all honour and glory be yours, Almighty Father, for ever and ever. Amen. Let us now pray with confidence to the Father in the words our Saviour gave us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, and graciously grant us peace in our day. In your mercy, Keep us free from sin and protect us from all anxiety as we wait in joyful hope for the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. We break this bread to share in the body of Christ. Though we are many. Lamb of God, 
you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Grant us Behold, behold the Lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy to receive you, but only say the word, and I shall be here. Corpus Christi.
Let us pray. Loving God, as a mother feeds her children at the breast, you feed us in this sacrament with the food and drink of eternal life. Help us who have tasted your goodness to grow in grace within the household of faith. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. May God give you grace to grow in holiness, to deny yourselves, to take up your cross and follow Christ. And the blessing of God Almighty, Father and Son and Holy Spirit, come down upon you to remain with you always. Amen. Now, as you leave the church, I'm going to be distributing uh, Mothering Sunday poses. But first of all, let's ask for the intercession of Mary, remembering that the Lord invites us to make a place for her in our homes and in our hearts. The angel of the Lord brought tidings to Mary. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us now and at the hour of our death. Behold the handmaid of the Lord. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us now and at the hour of our death. And the word was made flesh. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the cross of Christ. We beseech you, O Lord, pour your grace into our hearts, that as we have known the incarnation of your Son, Jesus Christ, by the message of an angel, so by his passion and cross, May we be brought to the glory of his resurrection, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Amen. Mass is ended. Go in the peace of Christ. Thanks be to God. Thank you.